Toru Okono. I was born in Nagoya in Japan. I am an architect. But in addition, I have been given a task by my Zen priest, as have many of my fellow countrymen. A task which dominates my entire life. Kara, the comprehension of emptiness. A Zen idea. Unfortunately, Zen is a word understood only by few people. A mystic sound. A fashion even. But it helps me to understand my task. Kara. In the philosophy of the East, subjugation of self holds an extremely important place. In India, there are the many forms of yoga. In China and Japan, the religiously inspired forms of sword fighters, archers, and the kara, the emptiness, the karate, the empty hand, the victory of the mind over the body. To prevent hands and feet becoming damaged or misformed by the karate techniques, I tie a grass rope around a tree, and this is called the makivara. By combining concentration, breathing technique, great speed, balance and strength, the necessary state of mind is achieved to carry out karate, and minor things such as pain and fatigue are overcome. The bound tree, the Makivara, symbolizes, as it were, evil. The evil in myself that I will and must fight against. A thought occurring in all religions of the world. Concentration, breathing technique, balance, speed and strength together form kara, emptiness. Stylized movements according to an age-old pattern form part of my training. Basai means break through the fortification. And evasion plays just as important a role in this sham fight as the attack, the breakthrough. Basai 
is carried out according to a choreographic pattern. It aims at a coordination of body movements so that perfect equilibrium is maintained in all situations. Saishan is a breathing kara. At birth, we learn to breathe instinctively. But the technique of breathing plays a major role in our philosophy. And so, many exercises are based on a balance between breath and movement, between breath and strength. Saishyan has two phases. A slow one, in which tensing muscles and special breathing accumulate energy, so to speak. The quick phase is the reaction to it. The discharge, almost the explosion of that energy, but without exhaustion resulting from it. A reserve must always be kept. Since interest in karate has been steadily growing in the West, the Japanese government has entrusted me with the honorable task of giving lessons in various countries for some time. is a training which is specially suited for youth because in addition to physical development mental values such as concentration self-discipline and a sense of responsibility play a major part apart from that the natural aggression of the child is directed into positive channels while at the same time it still has every opportunity to express itself in the case of adults there is also the element of sport. Technical skill and competitions make up a grading system, as in judo, with belts of different colors. Winning the black belt, the first dan, completes the apprenticeship. One may now be an instructor. One may continue one's studies, but the color of the belt does not change anymore.
The practical side of karate is the ability to defend oneself against all sorts of attack with the empty hand. Even armed attacks can be dealt with with the empty hand. What is really behind the sport, as practiced here, is always the intention to put one's opponent permanently out of action. Rules of play, self-control, and respect for life have helped make karate a sport much practiced all over the world. The spectacular excesses often confronting the spectator have, in fact, nothing to do with the essence of karate. O oh Lord, you have led me through many battles. My body bears the scars of the many snares from which I escaped. Please show me once again the spot where I was born to die. 